In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access and install Zapier directly inside ChatGPT. You are then going to be able to use ChatGPT and Zapier together and automate a lot of tasks behind the scenes. I have a whole playlist about ChatGPT plugins, so make sure to check that out. I'm gonna link it down below. And if you are interested in ChatGPT, automation, tech, and AI, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. All right, let's get started. So the first step is that you have to go to GPT-4 and we are going to go to plugins. You are going to have this drop down menu here. You want to click on it. As you can see, I have some plugins installed, but we are going to go to plugin store and in the section called popular, you should see Zapier. I would be very surprised if it wasn't here, but it can happen. So if that ever happens and you don't see it in this section uh, called popular, you want to go to all and then you want to browse through the pages and find Zapier. Unfortunately, they still don't have any search bar here. So you just have to uh, browse through the pages and find Zapier, but it should be in the popular section. So here, what you want to do is to click on install and you are immediately going to be redirected directed to create a free profile on Zapier. Here, what you want to do is to go to sign up. And as you can see, it does not require any coding. It's for free for the core features. And they also offer 14 day trial of premium features and apps. Here in the sign up, I'm going to continue with my Gmail. I'm going to then be redirected here. And they are just simply asking me a little bit more about me. I'm going to go with marketing. I'm going to hit continue. Here you can set up which apps you are currently using, but don't worry, you can use all the 5,000 plus apps that they offer. Here, you are just customizing what you are going to see when you log into your profile. So I'm gonna choose Gmail, I'm gonna use Schedule by Zapier. This one is for uh, scheduling and doing the task, uh, for example, every single week on a regular basis. I'm also going to add Google Docs. Of course, I'm gonna search for OpenAI. I'm gonna also pick ChatGPT and let's say also WordPress. Again, this does not change anything. You are going to be able to use all the apps, except there are some apps that are premium. So that is not included in your free account. I'm gonna go and finish my setup. You can also skip it here. And right now uh, we are having this pop up here. OpenAI wants to access your Zapier account. Allowing access means OpenAI will be able to use your Zapier account to run the actions you enable. We are going to click on allow. And then we got this uh, pop up here. Here they are giving you some examples. So for example, drop a new email in Gmail, make a new event. Here we can just click on close action settings for now. And just like that, we have Zapier integrated as a plugin in ChatGPT. If you go to zapier.com, you can see that automatically you are logged in. And right now, as you can see, you are going to be on a professional plan, which is a paid plan, but it's completely for free for 14 days. You can also see down here when the trial ends for you. But when this trial expires, you are going to be able to use Zapier completely for free, just with the core features. And then later you can decide whether it makes sense for you or your business to upscale. All right, we are now not ready yet. There is an important step that you have to do. If you remember during the installation, we closed down that window that was telling us to set up actions. As it was not important for the installation, we closed it down. But right now we have to use it in order to interact with ChatGPT. So you can either ask ChatGPT to give you the link. You can type something like, please give me the link for setting up the actions in Zapier plugin. Or you can just simply go to this page, which I'm going to link down below, zapier.com, natural language actions. If you then scroll down, you are going to see this uh, button here, open action setup window. So you can either ask ChatGPT to uh, open action setup window and give you the link. But as you only have 25 messages every three hours, you can just simply go on this website and then you can open the action setup window once again. Here you can see that the window looks exactly as the one that we closed down during the installation. But for you, in order to use Zapier in ChatGPT directly inside, you have to set up something called actions. And here you can click add new action. And this is the place where you can actually set up any action that you then refer to in ChatGPT. The second option, how you can see the window once again, is to go on this link NLA, which is natural language actions .zapier.com, open AI actions. If you click on this link, it's going to open it up for you on full screen. 
So here, this is exactly the pop-up that we have seen during the installation, which was not necessary to go through. But right now, if you want to use uh, Zapier in ChatGPT, you have to set up actions. Also, there is something called Zapier Chatbot Plugin Help Bot, which is here to help you if you need any help with this. I'm going to link this uh, down below where you can access uh, this chatbot. But simply, if you click on Get Help, you are going to be redirected to the page where you can chat with the bot. And here you can see that the first step was to install the Zapier plugin in your chat GPT. Then the second step is actually to set up your actions. So we have to go and set up these actions because then we are not gonna be able to refer to them when we actually write down the prompts in chat GPT. We are going to be creating a post that chat GPT creates for us and we are going to automatically send it over to our Google Doc. So here actually you can ask this uh, chatbot how we can do that. It might be confusing for some people to know which actions you should choose here. If you don't know, you can chat again with the chatbot that I'm gonna link down below, or you can also go to the chatbot if you click on get help. So here you can see that the first step to actually perform this is that we have to set up the ChatGPT actions. We then click on add new action. And then we, if we want to send something over to Google Docs, it's recommending us that we should select create document or append to a document. So if we have an existing document, we can just append it to that one or we can create a completely new one, which is what we are going to do. And then you connect your Google account and you fill out the other available fields or you let AI to fill it out for you. And then you save the action. And now this is the most important thing. Now, when you have a table generated with ChatGPT, you can ask the AI to send it to your Google Docs using the action you created. So the first thing you have to do is that you have to create that action that we are going to use in ChatGPT and we are going to refer to it. Here, we are going to hit add a new action. And as the chatbot helped us, we know that we should search for a Google Doc and we are going to create a document from text. Right now, you can see that I have to choose my Google Docs account. So I'm going to do that. You can either connect new, reconnect or refresh. Also, another thing is that if you go back to your zapier.com, if you want to set up all these connections prior to this, so then you don't get any errors here or you don't want to connect it here, you can simply just go to my apps and here you can set up your connections. So you can see I already have some connections set up. So if you add a, a connection and you uh, click on Google Doc, you are then going to get a pop-up that is going to then allow Zapier to connect to your Google Docs. So this is how you can set up the connections to other apps that you can then uh, use in your actions. But you can also do it here, as I said before. The second one is the document name. You, here you have option to have AI guess a value for this field or set a specific value for this field. If we choose specific value, we can just enter the name of the document, but I'm going to leave it, have AI guess a value for this field, and you are going to see later why. The document content is also going to be set up to let AI guess the value for this field. And right now we can just hit enable action. And this is exactly what you need in order to interact with the Zapier plugin. You have to have at least one action created that you are going to later refer to in the chat. So here, this action name is Google Docs create document from text. We are actually going to copy this action and we are going to right now head to ChatGPT to actually perform this. So what you are firstly going to write is using, you are then pasting the, uh, the exact name of the action. You can also write action afterwards. And here, as you remember, there were two fields that I could fill out. There was a document name and then there was content. So here I'm going to say, please create a document with title ChatGPT test. And then what should be the content of the document? Here, I'm going to actually save a little bit time. So I do have templates available directly in ChatGPT. This is completely for free and it gives you very advanced templates for different categories such as copywriting, marketing, SEO, social media. So make sure to subscribe down below. I'm going to have a video about how you can access this. For the sake of this video, let's go with social media. We are going to go with uh, LinkedIn and we are going to go with LinkedIn Post Creator. 
So this is a template and it's basically allowing us to create a post for LinkedIn. Topic, we can just write AI in marketing, for example. And as you see, I write down and uh, the template is changing. If I write down uh, industry, it's going to change the template uh, automatically. Here, I could just hit execute template, but I'm not gonna do that because that's going to basically execute it in my chat. But uh, here I'm just saving time. So I'm just going to go with this one. I think this should be enough. And then I'm going to copy and paste that um, that part. And let's say it's going to start with this. So the content of document should include a post about the AI in marketing for the marketing industry, some emojis. Then we have the, the length of the uh, of the content and also some hashtags at the end. And right now we are ready to send this. It automatically knows that it should use the Zapier plugin because that is the only plugin enabled in this current chat. If we click on it, you can actually see that it's creating the, uh, the post for us automatically. All right, so we got firstly an error but then it automatically started to generate once again. The reason why was because of the emojis. You can see that there were a lot of emojis here. And if we click on the second one, there are no emojis, only hashtags, but it even successfully started generating once again. So great, I have prepared the document for you. To finalize and create the document, please click here to confirm and run the action. Uh, so we can click on this link and then we are going to be redirected to this page. And here, what we can do is to just have a look at that. We can also edit it. So we can actually change the document name if we want to. We can also change the document content, uh, but we are going to save this and we are just going to run and we get a confirmation. You can close this window and let your GPT know this action has been confirmed. So we are going to close the window and we are going to say it's done. All right, so we are going to check it out. So if we go to our Google Drive, we have it here. So if we open the document, we can see that the name of the document is correctly ChatGPT test and we get the full post inside our document here. Now, there are so many different things you can do with Zapier. It enables you to connect with over 5,000 more applications. So if you are interested in more videos about Zapier and how it integrates with ChatGPT, how you can use it to automate different stuff, I'm planning on a series that is going to show you different examples, how you can use Zapier together with ChatGPT. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe down below and hit the bell notification icon. If you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and have a great day.